Morning. First day in Ubud in Bali. <laughs> Hi, Serena. Excited. <laughs> we are very excited for Bali Spirit Festival and all the rest that's about to come. I'm going to show you around our little hut. Let's start. <laughs> jump in the pool straight after the workshop. Isn't that right? After yes. <laughs> this is my third Bali Spirit Festival. So I've been coming back for three years in a row now with the same group of friends, about eight to 15 friends. And we have an amazing group of people together. Yogis and business owners and friends who like to be connected and like to enjoy the simple things uh, in a simple way. Amazing food. Bali Spirit Festival for me means intimacy and vulnerability and connection and I think those are incredibly important things in life that not every one of us experiences on a daily basis. I feel like what we call connection in our modern Russian world is very much this connection from reality and this connection from our truth and from who we really are. And that's why I come to Bali Spirit Festival every year is to reconnect with that, reconnect with the simplicity and get away from the stress. And ironically, I felt very stressed in the first three days that I got here. I had this really heavy feeling on my chest the whole time and I couldn't shake it. And the reason why that was is because I put a lot of pressure on myself with having my own business and making everything always better and constantly improving it and constantly expanding it. And before I left, I made a pretty big commitment in terms of business development. And I was just questioning myself, how dare you making this huge commitment and then going away and just doing nothing and attending a festival for a week. And I was in this constant anxiety around I can't even enjoy myself at the pool, I need to work, I need to do things and respond to emails. And then I ran into a friend who's also very, he's also very spiritual and connected. And he said one sentence to me and said, you seem like you're in a very active state. And in a very, in an active state, you can't receive. And that sentence just struck a chord because I realized that we need a balance of active and passive, yin and yang. And your yin is when you're receiving, when you're passive, when you're feminine, when you're just in your flow. And I needed to find that balance. I think that's why I came here this year. And I think that's what Bali does to you, particularly Ubud, because there's so much you do and everywhere you look or everyone you talk to, people are so open. Of course, there's so much more to it. There's amazing, you know, plant-based food everywhere you look. It's all fresh and organic and, you know, grown in this land. And everywhere you look, there are amazing people who are not afraid to be themselves. And I think that's so beautiful. It's also incredible to reconnect with my friends who many of them I see all the time on a day-to-day -day basis, but for some reason when we are here and when we get away from our stressful environment or our rushing lives and come to a place where there's nothing to do but connect and to reconnect, it really helps us form an incredibly strong bond that reminds us what life is all about and what friendships and connections are all about. Over. It's always sad. 
Yeah, just this week has been um, an amazing journey, as always. It's, it's quite emotional during, or you might not even feel emotional during Body Spirit, but then it always gets you after. And it shows you so much about yourself that it can be comforting sometimes, but it's also a beautiful thing and it's an also an amazing opportunity to learn. This year I definitely took it a lot easier. I didn't push myself as much as I did in the previous years. And I'll definitely be back next year because, not only because the amazing content and classes and all the things that we do um, during Bali Spirit, but also because of the amazing connections that you make with people and the group that we go with together, the, the fact that we, our friendships get so much stronger by participating and going through that process every year. And I wish it for everyone who feels that they want to reconnect, they want to learn more about themselves, they want to do yoga, they want to try things that they may have never done before, and they want to push um, themselves out of their comfort zone. It's an amazing journey to learn and grow.